So we're going to look at some basics of repinning a connector. And this is essentially how almost every single automotive connector is built, even though this is a bit of a simplified one. I have a custom harness here that I'm wiring in for an air compressor, and I need to build the connector. So let's have a look at the principles behind building and repinning connectors. So basically, right here, I have spade terminals. And it doesn't matter what type of terminal it is, if they're Deutsch connectors and they're round, if they're spades, if they're pins, they all work on a very similar principle. You see this little piece right here is going to engage with the connector, with the plastic piece, and that is going to keep these pins locked into place. So building this connector is as simple as matching up my wiring colors on my harness to my other piece of harness. So my green connector goes in here and all I need to do is see this little nubbin right here. I need to line it up inside the connector and it's going to simply click into place. And right there, you can see that it is now providing a lock so that I cannot pull it out of the connector. And then when these two pieces go together, I have a solid connection. Now, most automotive connectors are a little bit more advanced and they have some weather packing in here and that helps seal out any moisture. So this one would not be good on the exterior of the vehicle, but since we're inside a vehicle, it's gonna be totally fine. So to deep pin this connector, now this one is pretty straightforward. You could just use a simple screwdriver and what you would wanna do is push the wire in, push down on that little positive lock. This screwdriver is a little bit too big for that one. So what do you do? Well, there are a few different tools available. There are some generic tools such as this one that provide a few different types of terminal tools. Really inexpensive on Amazon and eBay, you can buy these little packets that come with a multitude of different terminal tools and they're not the most durable, but they're relatively inexpensive. I think this was like 10, 11 bucks. If you buy the higher end ones, you can spend a couple hundred dollars, which they will definitely outlast these. But if you're only doing it here and there, these are totally adequate as long as you're gentle with them. So for this terminal, I need a fairly flat, ironically, I think a screwdriver would work better. So to deep end this, I need a flat one on the specific connector. And I take my wire, I push the wire in, and that helps provide a little bit of space so that we can release that positive lock. Push the terminal tool in, pry it up so it's pushing down on the lock, and then wiggle it out. And there you have it. So what I did there, my wire got pushed in so that this little locking mechanism was not butted up against the connector. I took my terminal tool and I slid it in and then I pushed down on the locking mechanism so that it was able to release and then I pulled the wire out of the connector. And at this point I could now replace the end if I needed to or in this particular case I'm going to make sure that my locking mechanism there is in its proper position. And then I'm going to reinsert it into the connector and make sure that you pull on the connector there. A little pro tip, if you're having terminal tension issues, you cannot repair terminals just by pinching them down. It may fix it in the short term, but it will not be a long-term fix, I guarantee it, because the metal has stressed and it is fatigued. So it is going to open back up and you will have a pin tension issue again in the future. So anytime you have to go into a connector, if it is to repair or if it's because of pin fitment issues, you have to have to have to replace the pins. You also need to be cautious of the locking mechanism to make sure that that hasn't been in and out a couple of times and that it hasn't been fatigued as well. Because if that breaks, then your wire is just gonna come back out over time and you're gonna get intermittent issues that can be really difficult to find and diagnose. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave me a message in the comments. Let me know what else I can do to be of assistance. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.